Calling all DJs. As of today, September 24th, 2025, we can now access Spotify Premium on DJ softwares, including Rekordbox, Serato, and DJ. This means we have access to our entire library from a click of a button using our Windows or Mac OS devices. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up and what features are available when we use Spotify Premium with Rekordbox. In order to access Spotify Premium on Rekordbox, you need to make sure you're on the latest version of Rekordbox. Once you've done that, if we look to the left where we see our streaming services, you will see Spotify has been added. We can click that and then we see a new screen. You can either get premium if you haven't got it already or hit login. If we hit login, we'll be directed to this page on our browser and then you can type in your credentials. Once your credentials are in, we can hit agree and then that will take us back to Rekordbox. We can then give it a moment to load and it's loading our Spotify library. As you can see, at the top we have Spotify. If we right click this, we can log out of our Spotify account as well. Below that, we have Made to DJ. These are some playlists made by Spotify to allow you to access music straight away if you're new to the service. And then below that, we have the most important bit, our own library. If we click this, we can then see all of our playlists and even our light songs. If we click the light songs, I can see my tracks are loading in and I think on my Spotify account, I have 1,669 light songs. So we'll give it some time to load and then we'll be able to access all of them. I was almost bang on. We have 1,645 songs that we can access directly from Spotify Premium on Rekordbox. We can then use our DJ controller, in this case being the DJ Flex 4, and browse through our library. We can then load a track and give it some time, and once it's loaded, we can play. As you can see, we have full control of the track, even allowing us to put our hot cues as well. With Spotify Premium, we have access to all the features that we would normally have if we were using MP3s or WAVs. This means we can set hot cues, like so. We can set hot cues throughout the song, And the best bit about this all is if we load another track, we can see on the screen the hot cues remain. We can then go back to the previous track and all of our hot cues are still available. So now we get instant access to all of our Spotify playlists. We no longer have to use third party programs in order to convert our playlists and use other streaming platforms. On top of this, we have access to hot cues, loops, and all of the usual effects that we would have if we purchased the tracks. And more importantly, we can then use our phone when we're out and about and update our playlists on the fly, and this will automatically duplicate to the Spotify on your record box. And lastly, if you've had your ear to the ground, you may have noticed Spotify has now opened up lossless streaming to premium users. This isn't the case at the moment on the Rekordbox application. If you go to the cogwheel here, we can then search Spotify. As you can see, we have access to changing our streaming audio quality. We have default, which is 320 kbps, or a lower version, which is 96 kbps. So hopefully in the future, this will be updated to also include losses. But for now, the best option you have is 320. So who knows what the future holds? With Spotify Premium coming to Rekordbox, can we expect to see it on other players or all-in-one units? Who knows? Let us know what you think in the comments. And with that, it's been myself, Jono at Bop DJ, and we'll see you in the next video.